I, 22F, made an insensitive joke, and he, 22M, wants to move on but I can't. Let me just start off by saying, I am aware I fucked up and that it's totally my fault, no doubt. But I just need input cause honestly I don't know who else I should ask. So backstory. I met CM, 22M, on Bumble. I have commitment issues, CM knows. So Bumble, Tinder worked pretty well for me, just jumping from one person to another. I've always been up front, and I never stringed anyone along. Me and CM really hit it off. And we got really close, to the point he said he wants to date me. I said I have commitment issues IDK if that'll go well. He said he understands. So the first time we met, my country is still in lockdown so we had a sleepover at an Airbnb. I actually realized I liked him and so when he asked me again, I decided to just go for it. We started dating and I really, really like him. This happened about one and a half into dating. Another thing is I have incredibly bad memory. Like insanely bad and he knows. He found it cute, at first. The fuck up. He has this habit of laying down on me and I have no problem with it. I've been told my mouth is my demise, and it finally bit me in the ass. So once on call, we were just bantering for fun and he made fun of my skills in bed, and in return I said yeah well I would practice on you but you always want to lay on me so I can hold you like the way your mother never did. He laughed about it, we moved on. Three days later, we were texting like normal and I used all caps so he thought I was being bitchy and he just snapped. He talked about how my shit memory is very annoying and that the remark I made about his mom really hit a nerve. Then it started spiraling and he said he doesn't want to continue this anymore. But I really want him. I apologized and I said I'll work on my memory and boundaries for jokes but he insists that he will never let this go. I don't want to make this about me, but I don't like commitment and I was willing to try too. I've made similar jokes before, about my issues included, and when I said that, he said he never really found it funny but he just let it slide anyway. He says he wants to work on letting shit go too cause apparently if he's wronged once he'll never go back and just start building walls. So I said, if he wants to work on that then I want to work on myself too and I want to do it with him. And he's shooting down every single thing I've come up with so far. Plus he sounds so emotionless and numb on the phone. Which hurts even more cause either I really fucked him up or he's already made up his mind and has moved on. Either way, it just sucks for me. I really would have never made that joke if he had said he was uncomfortable the first time round. Is there really no salvaging this? But all I know is he really is a sweet and amazing guy and I really want him back. Too long did not read. I said an insensitive joke about his mom and now he thinks this can never be resolved and wants to end the relationship. Edit. He had an extremely rough childhood, so all this is a product of that, so I don't blame him either. For him, he said he let himself be vulnerable around me and I, in turn made a joke. So now he feels like he's gotta think twice about what he tells me. And of course, now he would be a little uncomfortable laying on top of me and etc. You both sound like you have some growing up to do and some therapy would probably benefit you both. I wouldn't bother with this relationship until both your heads are straight. Doesn't sound like a big deal yes. Probably something more to it. But I can tell how your jokes probably are considering your username. Cold sweat smile I love it though. He doesn't want to move on because of a joke, he's accumulated other reasons and found a tipping point. I'd play it by ear. Sounds like both of you are still attached but currently he's pulling back. I'm sure there will be a point where you will pull back and he'll feel like shit. Dot it's just the dynamic. Therapy for commitment issues sounds like the way to go. Dot but there is a possibility to explore these things together in a supportive way. If you both can have a lot of self-awareness of what's going on with yourself, be able to share that with each other with honesty. Maybe suggest just being friends to him whilst exploring this, and supporting each other and then easing back into a relationship when both of you are comfortable. Hello, and thank you for your submission. Please take a moment to review the rules listed in our sidebar. For further guidance, please see our wiki. This is a bot message. I cannot respond to any comments. Please modmail us with any questions. I am a bot, and this action was performed automatically. Please, contact the moderators of this subreddit, message, compose, to equals, r, relationship underscore advice, if you have any questions or concerns. I should mention he had an incredibly rough childhood and I totally do not blame him for that. He is how he is because of that. But essentially what he says is that he now has to think twice before letting himself be vulnerable around me. But you'd have to trust someone in order to be vulnerable with them right? So yay.
You shouldn't want to salvage this, he sounds like a complete weenie. Imagine being his girlfriend and things you said and he was fine with at the time were recycled and aimed at you as fuel for your current argument? The bloke is a nightmare. If he tells you about his lack of goodwill, his being wronged, can't take a joke, and his building walls believe him. You'll be apologizing and trying to make amends for the rest of your life if you stick with him. He has an ego made of glass. That stuff about your memory rings alarm bells too. That's the stuff gaslighters say. My, 21F, mom, 53, found my vibrator. Some months ago my mom found my vibrator under my pillow and had a talk with me. I tried to deny it since she's strict and religious and lied that it's for headaches. She said don't fool me I know what this is. And we kinda dropped it since then. Now I don't keep it in my room anymore because I don't trust my mom and have it in my bag. Today I came home from my BFS place and she took it out of my bag and yelled at me in front of my sister, 29, who just laughed all the time even though I was visibly upset and embarrassed. I now locked myself in my room and I'm crying. I know I'm overreacting but I'm dreading the talk from my sister and my mom, which I don't find necessary. I don't know how to justify having it in my bag. I can't lie. I need advice please. Edit. So, many people are addressing the fact that I'm 21 and still living at my parents' home, telling me to grow up and move out. 1. My parents come from a culture where the children only leave their parents' home when they marry. We can leave once we have finished university. 2. We live in Austria, where it's normal for the kids to stay at their parents' home until they get their degrees. 3. My boyfriend plans on moving out with me once we both get our bachelor's 4. I'm currently studying molecular biology and will study in my free time for the entry exam for the medical university in Vienna, which is very competitive and hard to get into. So I probably won't have enough time in my day to fit a job in to afford rent. Also my mom found the vibrator the first time while vacuuming. I always vacuum my own room but was outside that time and my mom keeps a tight schedule. She also vacuums my bed to get rid of the cat hairs and she found it under my pillow. The second time, today, she saw a glimpse of it in my bag, pulled it out and embarrassed me in front of my sister. There are too many comments for me to reply to. I'm sorry if I can't reply, but I will upvote when I can. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to lift my mood with jokes and to give me advice. I really appreciate it. Update. My mom wanted to go into my room and talk to me. I just told her, no I don't want to talk. She said okay. Asked me if I wanted pizza I said no and she left. I know she or my mom will bring it up later again but I'm pleasantly surprised she respected my no. I'll go to my BFS place for the night and probably stay there the whole weekend because I frankly don't want to see my mom and sister for the time being. I understand my sister was just caught up in the moment and reacted the way she did. I'm not mad at her anymore. Thank you for your advice and for uplifting me. I'm standing my ground. Edited a word. You're not overreacting in the slightest. Your mom and sister just don't know how to mind their business and they are not respecting you. What you can do depends on your situation, for now just try to get on with it, hopefully your mom will learn to shut up. I have a religious and conservative family too and same thing happened to me except that it happened twice and it was a box of lubes. My excuse was it was given for free from a sex ed seminar and from the hospital I worked that had, family planning seminars, for the second time. Doesn't sense but it worked for me and mom shrugged it off which is some sort of a miracle for me. Wish you luck. Buy the most terrifyingly large butt plug imaginable for her to find. The talk isn't necessary. It's none of her business. You should tell her that. Orgasms do help relieve headaches. You're 21 and entitled to have privacy and respect. It's pretty shocking what your mom is doing, so I would do the same. Instead of walking away embarrassed, you just say as dry as possible, so what? She won't know what to respond lol. You are 21. This is a gross violation of an adult's privacy and autonomy. This is going to be a little confrontational but, buy your mom one. Tell her it's 2021 and God doesn't punish folks for pleasure and she would really enjoy it. It means saving your fornication for the marriage bed. You don't have to even insert it into the vagina as she doesn't want to, just a little clitoris stimulation. That it's healthy for her to explore her body and you will not be shamed by someone with old-fashioned way of thinking. Make sure to use lots of sexual scientific words. Assure her she shouldn't be shamed, and in turn shame you. She might be so embarrassed and off she'll never mention again. Or she will take her new gift and open her own feminine world. My boyfriend, 29, thinks I, 29, went with him on a trip. It wasn't me. 
so with it being fall and whatnot, I saw an ad for our local apple orchard advertising its opening up this weekend and I mentioned to my boyfriend that I really wanted to check it out since I've never been to one. He starts telling me that I'm wrong because he thinks that we've been to a different one in the past. He starts describing the orchard in detail and eventually finds it on Google, and I let him know that he's mistaken because I've never been before. I have pretty good memory of places I've been and I usually take at least one photo at the bare minimum to document any trips, outings I've made. I sifted through my entire phone, photos just to make sure I wasn't blanking on a trip like that and I didn't find anything, he didn't either lol. So, I start suggesting that maybe he went with his ex, which was maybe 8-10 years ago, but he swears the trip was recent, and, fresh in his mind, and also starts getting upset that I'm brining up his ex, they ended up on bad terms and at the time the breakup lead spiraled him into depression, had suicidal thoughts. This leads to more arguing about the whole thing and I told him that for my sake, I was going to sleuth on social media to see if there's any evidence of the trip. He told me he didn't want me being a crazy girlfriend and going to stalk his ex's page regardless if it was public or private and if I did he would be furious. Well, I did it anyways. I found the ex, and I found the photos proving he went with her, and that it wasn't me. I haven't told him that I looked through her photos because I know for a fact he would blow up on me for stalking his ex's page but at the same time it's pretty annoying that he seriously thinks that he went with me and won't stop making me feel like I'm going insane for forgetting. Even though we both agreed to drop the topic, he still is brining it up here and there and saying things like, I can't believe you don't remember, and telling me about this trip and how, we went together, to try to jog my memory. How should I address the situation with him? Too long did not read. My boyfriend thought he went to an apple orchard with me, turns out it was his ex from a while ago. We both do no have proof of ever going together, I snooped his ex GF's page and found out he went with her. Can't tell him I snooped or it might open another can of worms. He keeps bringing it up. He gave up the right to be mad you looked it up. He's trying to convince you that you're an asshole for not remembering a trio you never took. He's a jerk. If he can't own being wrong he has serious issues. If he wants to be mad you don't remember and can't allow you to show him he's wrong, he's a massive red flag here. You need to rethink the guy. Screenshot the pics from his ex. He's wrong, and it is important, and telling you not to fact check him is stupid. I was once so sure about something, no one could convince me otherwise, until I saw evidence. At least in his head, he wants to you to be the person with him on the trip. Small things like this give big insights. The fact that he won't even be open to the possibility that he's wrong and you're right, is a huge location flag to me. But forget me, how do you feel about all this? What does it make you feel like that this is the, 100% insignificant, hill your boyfriend will die on? Just be short and to the point. Next time he brings it up, say, I checked your ex's profile and pictures from the trip were on there. You went with her, not me. Now let's not bring this up again. Then just repeat yourself if he keeps arguing the matter. You don't have to say anything else, because arguing about facts is stupid. As for him not wanting to go on her profile, like why the hell not? It's fine if he doesn't want to think about his ex, to the point that he's replaced memories of her with you. Why should that stop you from looking at her profile? Even though we both agreed to drop the topic, he still is brining it up here and there. Easy. Every time he brings it up, stop him in his tracks. I thought we agreed to drop this topic. Are we opening it back up again? If he's ready to open it up again then yes, you tell him he's wrong and this is proof. If he's not he should shut the fuck up. Rinse, dry, repeat. As many times as it takes for him to stop this needling. Goodness. I would just tell him you checked the X page and saw proof. That should be that. IDK why he doesn't want to believe you? It's okay to do things with exes but to completely not believe you and get upset that you would even suggest he went with an ex is ridiculous. When he brings it up again tell him you saw have proof it was with an ex and you don't want to talk about it anymore and that it's not a big deal and you're tired of hearing him think it was you. Wow, he's really digging himself into a deep hole over this. I wouldn't even entertain this kind of behavior by showing him the evidence, tell him you never went and to drop it. The fact he's being so defensive over something so dumb is already a red flag. What to say to your wife if she asks you to open the relationship? I, 27 male, with wife, 27 female been in a relationship for over five years. We weren't friends in school or college. Just got along a few months prior to the marriage. I'm not shy but introvert. Whereas my wife is a cheerful young woman who Frank talks to almost everyone in our friends and family circle. 
I look after my father's business and my wife works in a telecom company as a telecaller. But she was laid off from her job during the pandemic so were few of her colleagues. Last month, she got an email from the company, she's was working, that asked her to report in the following month. I don't know details about her job but to what I believe it is sitting around and calling customers. Everything was seemingly fine when I started noticing her more indulged in her phone. She would greet me when I come back from night, but I truly sense a change in her behavior. Usually she'd move and joke around and tell me how her day went whilst I complete my dinner. But these past few weeks she's enjoying her phone's company more. We don't share our passwords or anything of that sort. As I believe there must a part confined just to yourself. But two days ago I was lying in bed. About to ask her something but she interrupts and started talking about her workload and how her boss is a treating her. And out of the blue, she asks me to open the relationship since she is getting shrunken by these stress and this COVID thing and wants some fun. I was in awe and asked her what she meant. She didn't say anything and changed the topic. I try to talk to her but she says it's nothing and shrugs it off. I know that the pandemic got us crippled as we could go nowhere. She couldn't even go her parents' house on some occasion. I don't know what to do. What do I say her? I don't know if she's cheating. I get it that she's going to her job while looking after the house. We are just four people. Me and my wife and my parents. I don't know exactly what's bothering her. I asked a few of closest friends about this but they gave me a vague answer. After a few searches in Google, I came to know about this forum. Please help me. What do I say to her? One has nothing to do with the other. I'm stressed, so I need to have sex with other people? Come on man. The reality is you married a stranger, and if you're both not unhappy, she seemingly is. So what do you say? Well do you want an open relationship? If not, then you say no. Wait. So you only just met and then you married her? And after five years you don't know what her job is? Sounds like she's already having fun on the side dude. A change in behavior, a preoccupation with her phone and a request to open the marriage? She's cheating on you. Dude tells her that as she wants an open relationship she should have remained single and if she insists, divorce her without looking back. Cuz that is not what you signed up for. There is a good chance she is already cheating on you, and she wants to open the relationship so that she doesn't feel guilty and so that she can twist the timeline of the story later. Her actions that you described is basically everything a cheating wife does if you read the cheating stories here on Reddit or YouTube. Try to communicate with her the most you can but if she closes and cut you off then there is really nothing left you can do. One person can't save and carry a relationship that is meant for two. What do I say? I want a divorce. This marriage will only continue if it remains monogamous. I don't want to hold you back, but I have to protect my own interests. I hope you reconsider. Let me know your decision when you've made it. Your wife has met someone else and is looking for permission to cheat by saying you are free to do the same. Now she's mentioned it, you have to follow up with her and discuss what this means for you both. Avoiding the topic will mean she cheats anyway. The fact that your friends are giving a vague answer means your relationship is already at a crossroads. If an open relationship isn't something you want then talk with her about making fun with just the two of you. Maybe moving hour from living with your parents? You say what you should have a long time ago, goodbye. You guys don't know the basics about each other, to say nothing of each other's needs. Your roommates, friends perhaps, but not a real couple.